Hey there, YouTubers. Dan Strong with Excel VBA is fun. We have another fun question and answer time here, uh, where I'm gonna help somebody with a, a project of theirs. Uh, they've put some dummy data in this workbook and very nicely labeled all the different things that they needed help with, or really what it all does. He, this gentleman, uh, put uh, a nice drop down here in the workbook, and so you click on whichever one you want and. He says, then this once you click on that, the sheet will be updated with all his customers' information here. Um, when they click on this button here, he wants the user form to become visible, which already works. If you click there, you see it says And Andre Commenter uh, uh, it or I don't know. Probably means enter your comment, uh, but I don't speak whatever that is, um, and I don't really know which one of these is confirmation. Usually confirmations are here and cancellations are here, but we'll explore that in just a moment. What he wants to do, the comments appear right here, but that's based on an index. See, if I click there, you see that this is actually not the comments brought in through VBA. It's a formula that takes the index of the customer number over here in the Kunda uh, worksheet, and it looks it up based on the index number um, so it's like a it's a nice little VLOOKUP type of deal. So very clever. Uh, I guess the index numbers are up here up top, and it takes that and VLOOKS it up sort of uh, using index, which is another way to sort of do VLOOKS VLOOKUPs. So it's very clever, very awesome. Uh, good job. Um, uh, actually, I wonder if that would work. I don't know if it uh, currently looks up stuff, and it sure does. There's the telephone. We just type there, and company one. Okay, comment one. Uh, let's go back to Kunda, just so we understand where the comments are coming from. Let's go. Okay, comment one. Okay, it is column uh, 19 or 20, probably column 20. So let's put our comments here. Hello. This is. Fun. All right, so we have a base, a baseline now of what we want. If we go to uh, company one, it, we do see the comments are right here. So what he wants to do is whatever he types in this user form. If he hits OK, uh, or our first first step is when he clicks this button, he wants this cell right here to basically pop into there. So this would say hello, this is fun, and he could add or subtract to that note and then just go on with his stuff so that's great let's get started okay hit alt f11 let's see which um, which user form he's using uh, no it's not this one here uh, it's not that one here's the comment one okay great so this is Lagra, uh, and I'm not even gonna pretend to say all those words let's double click on this uh, let's see this one has not been clicked yet Got this good on. It's not working. That's the user form initialize. Okay, so he has been working on uh, the user form initialize. Uh, but he said it's not working. Okay. Text commentar dot text equals index total blah 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 blah. You know that's really great. That's a good idea. Um, there's a much simpler way, and uh, if you're gonna be lazy like me. Uh, okay, I don't want to say lazy. Uh, tactical. Let's be tactical. Uh, this is a great. It's a good start. But uh, I don't know if in, is index native to to VBA. Let's let's look first of all. Index. If I hit a okay, it, it isn't. So first of all, you'd have to do app if you were going to use index, which you can. Application dot worksheet function dot index. Then you can start using. Uh, whatever you want, and uh, we can we can maybe try that. But you know what? If you've got such a beautiful report page on the, the uh, master page here, and this is cell D14 is what holds the comments, why not just refer that? Very simple. Let's try that. Instead of all this, in, I'm I'm not going to erase your stuff here. Okay, I'm going to comment that out. But let's try this. Uh, Let's try me.txt commentar. Let's just say that equals um, 
this workbook dot sheets I'm just getting the pinpointing the location the sheet is called master as we can see in the lower left hand corner of the screen this workbook dot sheets master dot range what did we say it was those who are watching we can probably pay attention to more details it's D14 so there you go there's that part done let's hit F5 and initialize that let's see let's see master sheet D14 right well is that the right text box has the text box been renamed uh, it is text commentar Let's go to the user form initialize. Oh, what did I do? Okay, all right. You can't do USF. Uh, you can't take the user form name and make your own initialize. You have to use user form underscore initialize. That's why it's better to. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna copy and paste that little ditty right there. Okay, so if you do this here, it will not work because when you click on the worksheet or the user form functions and you click user form, uh, you have to use whatever they say user form underscore layout or user form underscore query close, and, and all this stuff has to be exact. That's why it's better to just go up here and click on whatever you want and then just fill in the gaps here with your code. So, that being said, so we can't use usfendercom uh, initialize. You, ha uh, you have to use, uh, well, buoy. You know what? That might be German or, or, or whatever, whatever language is. I apologize for my ignorance. That might be the correct way to do the initialize in, in that. But on my computer, for whatever reason, it wants me to do it this way. So let's see if that worked. I'm going to hit F5. Uh, what's, what's the problem now? All right. This workbook.sheets. Master.range. D19. There we go. I'm going to erase that. I'm pretty sure we aren't going to have any problems with that. So, what in the world? D19. Oh, it's D14. Oh my gosh, you guys are like rolling your eyes at me. I am so sorry. I am so sorry. F5. There we go. Hello, this is fun. Now, let's get to the good stuff, okay? Um, You could use the index. You could just do a loop. If you wanted that to go onto your Kunder page and you wanted to write that down onto this column 20 um, you could let's see here let's strategize let's uh, let's go ahead and using column 2 here let's get the last row dynamically and we'll start our code here for that button it shouldn't be too hard alright so double click on I think that's I think that's the, the, the I agree button or, or proceed. Anyway, so let's get some stuff out of the way. We're going to dim. I'm just going to say KS. That'll be our Kundur sheet as a work sheet. Set KS equals to this workbook dot sheets. It's Kundur. Now we are ready to rock. How about KSLR, meaning uh, Kunder Sheet last row? That's going to be equal to KS dot. Uh, sh no, KS is already set up. KS dot cells, rows dot count. Now, if you've been uh, under my training for a long, uh, long enough, you are typically going to put column one there by habit. But we want to do column two because column one obviously is really, really not being filled out all the way to its potential. So I'm going to use column 2 dot uh, end using XL up dot row and let's do that. Alright, so we have our last row now. Let's see how that looks. Hit F8 uh, or no, not F8. 
let's put a stop marker right there we'll click the button there what else do we want to know uh, that's let's get our uh, our notes here uh, my note equals we'll set that variable to um, me dot text whatever that common thing is there so that's going to be set up to be called my note temporarily then we're going to find the company on the ks sheet all right so for x equals uh, column 2 until x is 2 to kslr the last row on that and of course we'll need a next x for our loop to work right all right let's see and we need to go down uh, column 3 that's where the company names are so if Oh, we need to have our company name. That's the thing I was forgetting. My company equals. Um, what was it? Got a. We gotta hide that user form really quick. All right, fine. We'll just stop the whole dang thing. Master sheet. All right. Let's see. Uh, Where's the company name? Mm, okay. It's on this user form here, which is drop down nine, I guess. And it is in. Well, they're considering it cell A3, even though it's a. Uh, okay, so that's great. Let's go ahead and. Double click there again. My company equals. Oh, it's in the master sheet, isn't it? It's in A3 of the master sheet. All right, we've got all our variables set up. If the the uh, kunder sheet if ks dot cells uh, row x row uh, starting on two comma column three if that is equal to the company name which is my company then we'll just say stop uh, for just for our demonstration here let's hit f5 and see what happens I'm gonna say hell this is fun so much fun exclamation mark times like six and I'm going to click this button and I'm hoping that that will run our code wrong number of arguments or invalid property assignment oh alright 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 should be dot shared workspace it should be dot sheets alright sorry alright hitting F8 F8 the last row is 263 there's that many companies alright my note is hello this is fun so much fun my company is company one as noted by a cell a3 there for x is uh, going to be two until the last row of 263 so now we're looping through the kunda sheet invisibly in the background so the first one is um, that looks like the column how about we go from row three until there maybe they have a couple ones there there we go okay so so starting on uh, row three so company one is the name that we're wanting so it looks like obviously you know we found it right off the bat but the loop would work just as fast as if we had the 263rd one going on right here so it is and it would stop us right there let's fulfill our code now what we want to do is now that we've got pinpointed that address ks.cells x comma three yeah oops so 
So basically we just want to shove our notes into that cell. So ks.cells x comma 3 is the one that we want. And so we're going to have that to be equal to my note. Regardless of what it is currently, we're going to make it equal to that now. Or, ooh, not x comma 3. How about x comma 20? 20 is the column that says hello, this is fun. In a second, it's going to say hello, this is fun. So much fun. Hit F8. And right after that, I haven't hit F8 yet. Immediately following that, let's, um, let's just exit sub. Because we will be done at that point. There's no point in looping through the other 262 other uh, loops. So we just exit right after that part is fulfilled. So hit F8. We see that that worked. And hit exit sub. And we're probably going to see that it, it did change. Actually, after uh, right before exit sub, let's do... Oh. So we're going to need to pause that for a second um, so that we can edit this. But what we, what we want here is um, to have the user form hide. So how about me.hide? Um, and then... Let's try that. Let's try that again. Um, I'm going to. Oh, whoops. I'm going to hit play here and exit that. Let's go ahead and try it from scratch now. Okay, so the notes updated because they're on a, uh, a, a formula there. Let's type in uh, company one is a great company. Alright, so we need to enable uh, multi-line as well. Let's hit that button again. And let's let's see what happens towards the very end here. Me.hide. Okay, good. And then exit sub. So that's going to work out just fine. I'm going to hit F5. Let's run it all now this time. Uh, oh, before we do that, let's go to this user form. On this, uh, let's go to the properties for just a second. Let's see. We want to go to multi-line and make that true. That way, it'll allow you to type um, automatically kind of go into the next line instead of scrolling on forever like we just saw. That being said, let's click that button again. And now we're going to say blah 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 and adding a few more very meaningful important notes here alright there's our notes for the day when I click this button it should run all our commands and it should update on our little uh, uh, worksheet here so let's click it BAM cool how cool is that Let's, let's take away a little... Oh, I didn't want that sentence there. Delete. Save. Wow. So that's pretty cool. Anyway, it looks like it's working now. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope that helps somebody out there.